today I'm going to be going over how to install a lead-free ball valve. Most valves sold today are either lead-free or not lead-free. Lead-free is for any kind of potable water for the house. And that's what I'm installing this valve for is I'm hooking up an indirect under there, piping it off the boiler, and I got this line coming down. I'm going to put a valve on it so I can isolate. Even though I have a lead-free valve up top, I already got one there. And an indicator on a lot of valves is this LF lead free. Valves that are not lead free don't have the LF like this does not have an LF. But it's not important because that is not a lead free valve. Neither is this, but it's not supposed to be a lead free valve. It's just a valve for a boiler, so it doesn't matter. But now to install a lead free valve, it's a little different than a standard ball valve. You're just not gonna cook and cook away at this valve. So the first thing you do, get rid of your tag. And they always have, they usually have like a lighter handle, like a blue or a white. Now you clean out your fitting like you usually would. So you get it nice and clean on both sides. The copper is clean. You could use sandpaper or an emery cloth. I'm gonna, I gotta solder that in and also my ball valve. But now let's put, this pipe here is not gonna fit. We gotta cut that also. So this way the pipe will drop down to the floor from here. Now I add some soldering flux. I don't like too much because it just bubbles out, drips and spills and makes the solder run. I like to put just enough on there. Now my ball valve. Okay, so I'm gonna put it this way. And I usually like, when I put anything on, I put it on, I spin it. Now it's not gonna hold itself on. So let me get this pipe underneath it ready. So, Right about there, I can cut that. So I'm gonna cut this pipe right here. And it's gonna go down the floor. All right, now let me clean this off. And I use a regular 95.5. And stay clean, just soldering paste, soldering flux. Been using it for years. Had no problem with these valves. So now I got that. Let's get a little bit. Not a lot because remember, it's it makes it run. So it's gonna happen is it's gonna force it to go down. No, oh, wait, I forgot a major step. You gotta always ream the copper. Don't skip that process because that actually creates water turbulence. I doubt this one little fitting here would be the end of the world, but I just don't like to skip corners like that. So I do it with gas pipe, I do it with copper. Okay, nice and clean. Make sure the little burrs are out from the inside. They love to get in there now. Add the flux again because I wiped it off before I did that so I don't get my tool dirty with the flux. Now you got to check with the manufacturer because some manufacturers want this valve soldered in the closed position. Like Watts wants it in the closed position. Watts does not require that the valve is open or closed. Therefore, I'm gonna open it. I had to actually look this up. I always check with the manufacturer because they're the ones whose valve it is. They're the ones that are gonna say, this is how we want our valve installed. But I went on their site and I couldn't find anything. One of the things I like to do, whether this is open or closed, just remove the handle so I don't cook it and make it look bad. Because sometimes I don't do this and 
Well, the handles get a little discolored and blackened. And when done, they recommend closing the packing. Now, just tightening it up a little bit. A lot of times, I would use a bigger tip on three quarter. But because I don't want to put too much heat on this, I'm just going to go with a small number three tip. Now with the regular fitting, I heated straight on the fitting, not hitting the pipe first. With the lead free, I'm gonna heat the pipe. It's gonna cause the pipe to swell, expand, and fill in the little void. And then I'm gonna heat this and then melt the solder. But I don't wanna overheat this. They don't want you really going over 420 degrees. So you need to get a solder that's a low melt solder. Also control your flame. I'm not attacking the valve yet. Just the pipe, getting the pipe hot. There we go. Hot enough to melt. There you go, that's how to solder a lead free ball valve. You can see I got a nice coverage on it. Unlike a regular ball valve, you used to just throw the heat mostly at the ball valve, but for years I've always heated the pipe first and then the valve, so the change for this hasn't been much of a problem because when you're dealing with one inch pipe, it takes a long time to heat that up. So I like to heat this and then heat this so I don't destroy the neoprene or nylon seal that's inside these things because that's the problem is that the heat doesn't transfer as good and spread out as good through these lead free valves without the lead. So there's there's factors and I mean just straight sweat and that's not the best one I've done but whatever. As you can see I'm just getting it done. So well I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped anybody out with any questions they had and until next time I'm out.